Thank you for taking 10 minutes for CNN Student News. I'm Carl Azus. It's great to see you. Just the facts. The disease malaria is caused by a parasite. It can be transmitted to humans when they're bitten by a mosquito that carries that parasite. Symptoms can include a high fever, sweating, shaking, chills, and malaria can be deadly. There are a number of treatments for it, but there's no vaccine yet. So if you're watching in the U.S., it's unlikely you'll have to worry about malaria. But in many parts of sub-Saharan Africa, India, Haiti, this disease is more of a threat. And in poorer countries where doctors may not be able to treat malaria as effectively or as quickly, malaria kills more people. That's where some scientists hope their insect repellent could save lives. It turns out that if we found the world's greatest mosquito repellent, no one would care. So we needed to find something that would work against all insects, agricultural pests, disease vectors, even nuisance insects that make us crazy in our backyards. These are Anopheles gambia, they're literally the most dangerous animal on the planet. A child will die of malaria every 30 seconds today. Malaria is a very real problem. Uh, for most of the world. Most of the commercial insect repellents that people come in contact with are basically uh, targeting the insect's olfactory system to make the mosquito not find you. We decided to take a more aggressive approach and rather than turn off the mosquito's olfactory system, we looked for something that would turn it too far off to see if we could design a new generation of insect repellents based on overloading their smell system, their olfactory system. They hate, uh, just like we hate, overstimulation. They will move away from too much smell. We know that this chemical, which we call VUAA1, has the ability to turn on insect odorant receptors from every insect we've tried, not just mosquitoes. We are just now in the process of doing the toxicity. So far, we don't see any toxic effects. Our hope is that we're able to, to help develop a product that can be sold for profit in the developed world and use that profit to leverage the distribution in the developing world. We've finished the discovery phase and we have an opportunity to develop the product that we're interested in. Our hope is that every time we spray on a mosquito repellent here in America, we're subsidizing malaria reduction in Africa and Asia.